Hey there! Welcome to your weekly astrology forecast for the week of March 23rd. Uh, so long story short, it's been, it is an intense time right now for everyone and um, fortunately the aspects that are coming up this week are much more harmonious. So I mean Astrology is not going to swoop in and fix all of our problems any more than it swoops in and fucks up our lives despite what it may feel like sometimes. Uh, so that being said, I, I want to say that right out of the gate that there are some harmonious transits that we can work with this week. And so I want to share those with you. The first thing that's happening this week is we have a new moon in the sign of Aries. This is happening on Tuesday the 24th. Um, it's exact at 2.28 a.m. Pacific time. It's at four degrees Aries, four degrees and some change. Um, so I am offering a new moon goal setting guide webinar. Um, it's uh, happening live on the Friday before, but you can still um, purchase it as well. Uh, so that is there to help you really work with this energy and to find a sense of uh, stability, and direction this week. So I think that's really important um, this week is to focus on what it is that we can control this week and the new moon is a fantastic time to do that to say okay what is it that you want to grow in your life? Where is it that you want to direct your energy to direct your passion Aries? Uh, the sense of drive and ambition and determination and um, Aries also has an excitement to it as well. So I think that um, I think that Monday it may feel like very internal and then Tuesday and even moving into the, the, the week as we move on, there's going to feel, um, you may feel more like, okay, I can do this. I have the energy, I have the initiative to do what needs to be done. Uh, the other thing that's happening this week is Venus is making two harmonious aspects. Uh, Venus will trine Jupiter, which is like a fantastic transit. So when we're talking about anything around, um, around aspects, the trine means that things flow harmoniously. Venus is about beauty, aesthetics, love, relationships, uh, anything that we find pleasurable and desirable. And Jupiter is about expansion, growth, inclusion, generosity, um, connecting people that can mutually benefit each other. So those are themes. This um, aspect is happening on Friday, Friday night. So like Friday, Saturday is when the energy peaks. So I would be thinking about those themes throughout this week is how is it that you can um, position yourself to... Uh, to take advantage of harmonious relationships, to connect with people where you can bring something to the table and then receive something as well. There's a very like give and receive kind of vibe to this. Um, also just general pleasure, enjoyment, creativity, those are all themes around Venus, Jupiter as well. The other aspect that Venus is making uh, the next day, Saturday, so Saturday, Sunday, is a trine to Pluto. And so this is a very different feeling from Venus Jupiter. Like Venus Jupiter is optimistic and happy-go-lucky and everything's fantastic and blah, blah, blah. Um, and Venus trying Pluto is different because Pluto is about intensity. It's about digging deep into the authentic truth of things. So I think in relationships, when we are inclusive and... Um, generous and we look for ways in which we can uh, benefit not just ourselves but others, then there can be a deepening of relationship here, a deepening with that Pluto-Venus um, connection. And um, I think that Venus-Pluto can also show where there are patterns of, um, of control or obsession or even like codependent patterns and so this is a trine it's harmonious so I think it may be where you notice where it is that you have more control over your life than you thought um, the uh, I do want to mention about Venus Jupiter just to hop back to that for a second is um, so uh, we always want to look at planetary condition and in my client work we do this a lot um, to get a sense for how the planets are going to embody themselves through your life and so uh, in this case venus is in taurus which is in the sign of its rulership 
so Venus is super happy here, so to speak. Venus, uh, Venus bestows its most gracious and pleasing qualities, again, around love and relationships and beauty. Um, Jupiter is in kind of a tricky spot. Uh, Jupiter does not have access to all of its resources. Um, being in the sign of Capricorn, uh, Jupiter is in what's called its fall. And so this simply means that Jupiter is not in a place where it's typically aligned with its normal signification. So Jupiter is about expansion and growth and luck and looking at the big picture and having a all in like super enthusiastic and excited approach. Uh, Capricorn, the sign that Jupiter is in right now, is much more concerned with security, with being focused, with being diligent, with uh, drilling down on what needs to happen now in order for the long-term goal. And so, uh, so I share that with you because I want you to watch where it may feel like um, when Jupiter is in a tricky spot, it can sometimes feel like things are too much. And so I want you to just notice that if it feels like um, you're becoming overwhelmed this week, it's, it's good for you to temper that with going more into um, the Venusian, the Venus themes um, around finding uh, comfort and pleasure and beauty and just finding a more peaceful and harmonious uh, state or environment as much as you can. Uh, all right, so I have three tips for you to really make the most out of this. Tip number one is to be generous. Be generous with your time, with your resources. Be generous with yourself. Uh, I think it really has to start there. I've been um, listening to a lot of different um, podcasts and videos via social media lately, and um, I really love when um, a lot of people have said recently that, you know, you need to take care of yourself in order to take care of the people in your life. So that's number one, be generous, especially with yourself. Um, tip number two is to move forward this week. So we are in the new moon phase and the waxing moon phase and it being in the sign of Aries, like this is a time to put yourself out there to, to take risks to follow this sense of passion, that fire energy. So that's tip number two, move forward. Uh, and number three is to temper that with discernment. So use discernment this week. Um, I think that's important, especially because we have Venus, the relationship planet, making some aspects to some more like heavy hitter um, planets being Jupiter and Pluto. And so, um, you know, I want you to pay attention to what it is that you're committing yourself to and um, where you're saying yes um, where it feels like you need to take a pause, you know, use discernment for yourself to judge what is best for you at this time this week and then just uh, moment to moment as well. So we'll pull a tarot card for you and um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so as I'm shuffling these, if there is a question or an issue, something that's very present in your life right now that you would like um, guidance or confirmation about, I want you to think of that now. Um, this one just popped out. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Let's see if you can see it there. There, that's better. Uh, I love this card. I fucking love this card. So uh, Ace is always about a new beginning, something new. Um, being presented to you or something new that is uh, kind of like coming into form. Cups is about emotion. Uh, cups I also see as a symbol of relationship, you know, the connections that we have via relationships, so very appropriate for Venus aspects. And what I love about the, the Cups and the Rider weight is, uh, uh, what I love about the Aces is that they all seem to have kind of like there's this hand that's just coming out of nowhere and presenting you with something. And that is significant, that's meaningful to me in this place. And it, it reminds me of the trine energy. So we have two trines involving Venus this week where a trine, it symbolizes where things just happen. And so there may be an opportunity or a situation that is simply presented to you. You don't need to do anything to invoke it. Um, but it is presented to you and this happens in a variety of different ways. Sometimes it's direct, sometimes it's indirect. Um, sometimes an opportunity is presented to us as an obstacle. And so um, obstacles are not always a sign that something means no. Sometimes it's a sign to work through that or to redirect. And so 
Again, you're using the tips this week of being generous and moving forward, but then also using discernment to see what works with you. Uh, so that's your horoscope for the week. I hope that you enjoy this. And um, again, I'm always here to, uh, to support you in the way that works best for you. I am offering a variety of online webinar classes now from um, new moon work to learning astrology. And then um, I'll probably add in some energy clearing classes in there as well, because I think that might be helpful at this point in time. And of course, if you are interested in uh, looking at your personal astrology and your life, I'm here to support you in that way as well. And you can find out more about all of the work that I do on Shauna McGrath, astrology.com. Wishing you a, um, a super safe and healthy week filled with ease and comfort.